What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Walkie Mind Dude, back with another episode of Wrench Trench Garage. And today, um, I'm not going to be working on the Z today. I'm going to give you guys a little treat. Uh, it looks like uh, because of, you know, the popularity of the uh, tool haul video, I'm going to be doing a, uh, I'm going to call it a supply run video. And uh, basically, it's just a bunch of things that I picked up from a couple of different stores. I'm going to go over them and uh, see what you guys think. I hope you guys like this video. And that's what we have today. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started with that in just a second. But I wanted to show you this. The wheels are on. It's got a nice little low profile to the, to the vehicle now. Um, I, it's... it's Almost ready to move on its own power. I'm going to take it outside. Hopefully sometime today. That'll probably be another video. But, you know, we're going to try to get that done. But for now, let's go ahead and get to the goods. Um, so the first thing I ended up get going, the first place I ended up going is I went to a, I went to a Home Depot. And I picked up some of this uh, World's Best Glass Cleaner. Uh, this came highly recommended from uh, a, 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 a YouTube buddy, um, Instagram buddy of mine by the name of uh, Jeff Parker. Um, you guys need to check out his channel. He's got some really good stuff. Um, and, 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 you know, I have nothing but good things to say to him. Super nice guy. But uh, he recommended this. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to give it a shot. Matter of fact, I might try it on these dirty old windows on this thing and uh, see how well it does. Um, I went ahead and got a thermometer and as you can see it is right around uh, about 47 degrees so it is getting a little cooler out here and uh, because of that I went ahead and got this uh, Mr. Heater infrared electric portable space heater um, this came recommended from <laughs> believe it or not it came recommended from uh, somebody from um, from Home Depot and they said, come over to Lowe's and try this and see if I, see if I like it. Um, I would have gone with, like, one of those propane heaters, but I don't want to keep refilling propane stuff, and the flame kind of concerns me a little bit. Um, I didn't really, I didn't want any, any, anything flammable that creates heat in my shop because I work with a lot of chemicals, like as you see over here, that are flammable, gasoline, uh, fuel tanks. Um, I, I just didn't want to have to deal with any possible mishaps. I just wanted to, I, I, I want to get rid of as many hazards as I can. So I went with an electric heater. Um, I believe this is uh, your regular standard, standard um, was it 120 volt uh, um, uh, plug setup for these. Um, I do have a 240 volt plug over here. I do have a 240 volt plug right here, but I wanted to use that for something else. I did not want to uh, occupy that one thing that I have to, to, to a heater, nor did I want to go through uh, um, hard wiring uh, a heater in here. So what I did was I just got two of these. These were $89.99 a piece. I got two of them. I uh, just wanted to put them in the two general areas that I'm usually working. And I'm going to use the uh, thermometer here and uh, find out how far uh, into the corners of this uh, shop that the heat can actually heat this place up. As you see, it's a pretty large area to deal with. So I don't know. It's going to be an experiment. We're going to see how these things work. So that would be cool. Um, but Enough of the chit chat. I want to get right into it. So let's start from this side over here. So the first thing I want to start off with is this world's best glass cleaner. Um, I'm going to give that a shot soon. I went ahead and got some light duty outdoor uh, extension cords. Uh, that's for the heaters. These, I believe, were about uh, $14 a piece. Uh, the glass cleaner, just $2, two, two or three dollars, something like that, not a, not a whole lot. The thermometer, 97 cents. <laughs> um, this was from Walmart, by the way. The, this was from Walmart. Mm. 
uh, I went ahead and got a multi-plug outlet. I think this was like six bucks, something like that. But uh, that's for you know other shop stuff. I got these uh, hose clamp assortments from uh, this. This came from Harbor Freight, and uh, I I never have enough. I always run out of these. I always find myself going to the store to find to find these things. You know, they they I never I never have enough. So I got the larger setup and I have the small setup, and these have they have forty pieces of the, forty of them in here. And this one is a 20 piece for the larger. So I picked these up. I'm gonna see how they work. I don't, I don't imagine they'd be a big problem. Nothing more different than what you'd get at the regular store. But I think these were like seven, eight bucks for these big assortments. I don't think I could go wrong with them. As long as they don't cause leaks, I'm fine. Of course, I got some, some, more, um, some more cable ties. They're only a couple of dollars. I got these uh, seven millimeter thickness nitrile gloves. Uh, these were like eight dollars from um, Harbor Freight, and these came highly recommended. I don't know if you know who uh, the person is, but uh, I, I, I forget his name and I apologize. But he has a channel on YouTube called um, Atomic Garage, and he recommended these gloves. He said they work great, so. Um, I'm going to trust his judgment. He seems like a guy that, um, that, uh, uh, um, that, that has used uh, uh, products that, you know, is, is willing to give you the best bang for the buck. I, kind of, I trust his judgment. So I'm going with it. I went with these, and I went ahead and I got two boxes because I do go through gloves like crazy. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I went ahead and got my bolt-type wheel puller set. And uh, I had one, but I kept losing all the little uh, screws and attachments and stuff to it. So I went ahead and I just started over and got another one. And I'm going to need to use this anyway because I'm going to be doing the, uh, um, the timing belt on the Z. So I went ahead and picked this up. This was $19.99. All right, $20, whole set, comes in its own little case. I like that. Some people don't like these cases. I like them sometimes, but this time I actually like it, like the fact that it comes in a case and it, it's easy to put all your stuff back where it belongs. So I, I'm, I'm definitely happy about that. Uh, the next thing I got is uh, this tarp from Harbor Freight. And uh, this cost me a whopping zero dollars. It was free, um, you know, based on how many things you uh, purchase. So, you know, uh, you get this as one of those free gifts. Um, I figured this would be more useful than some of the other stuff that they have that's absolutely worthless. Than, you know, the stuff that they should be paying you to uh, to take off their hands. But um, I went ahead and got that. I'll probably use it as like, you know, I don't know, this ugly table cover. You can see how ugly, ugly my little table is. So maybe cover the table with the tarp. I don't know, something like that. But um, the next thing I ended up getting is I have these vehicle wheelie dollies. And... Uh, you know what, I'm going to do a short unboxing of these. The rest of the stuff, there's no need to unbox. But I'm going to do a little unboxing of these vehicle dollies. And you know what, I'll go ahead and do an unboxing of the Mr. Heater as well. Um, it's probably going to be a separate video of me actually hooking them up and, and, and testing them. But, you know, we'll do some unboxing today. And I uh, hope you guys like this content. I think, you know, uh, um, yeah. So anyway, yeah. So the package is this. These are the 1,500-pound uh, capacity. They have a 1,000-pound capacity one as well. That one was $47.99, I think, and this one was like $49.99. So for like the extra two or three bucks, yeah, I'll get the extra 500 pounds, no problem. So they come in a set of two. They're uh, $49.99 for a set of two. I ended up getting four because I'm going to put the Supra on skates. So let's see what's in the box. And there's some assembly required. Um, does come with the uh, owner's manual, stuff like that. Uh, this little plate here. And this thing is heavy duty. It's, it's a little heavy. I'm picking up with one hand. But yep, yeah, you have the plate there. I'll move some of this stuff out of my way. Another plate here. 
and we have you know our wheels our coasters casters whatever you want to call them and uh, we have two sets of those and that's pretty much what comes in the box um, the hardware appears to be already attached and basically you just kind of put them together and you jack your car up and you set them on this and then you can roll it around uh, freely which is exactly what I need to do with the Supra because I need that thing to go in another spot in the shop. So, eh, no need to open up the other one since you see what you get there. So yeah, but uh, let's go ahead and open up this Mr. Heater. I'm actually pretty excited to do that. All right, so we're gonna open up this Mr. Heater and see what we get in this little box here, huh? So I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up here. And let you guys see what I do. All right. So it looks pretty well packaged. Um, like I said, I got these from Lowe's. They were uh, ninety bucks a piece and they use a conventional outlet. So here's some instructions that we have for it. All right, comes with that. Um, you can see that it is packaged. You can see it's packaged really, really well. So basically, I'm going to take this out of here. So let's see if I can use my manly strength to get this out of here. And there we go. Now that we have extracted it from its box, ex ex extracted it from its box, this is what we have. And uh, this is actually, looks a little larger than what I thought it'd be. So that's cool. Um, it has this little LED touch screen, little LED t touch screen controller right here. It would really be nice if this thing came with a remote. That would be really cool. But, you know, it's just for area spaces. I really wanted to hang this up. But now that I see that all the controls are on it, I won't be able to hang it up too high. It's only gonna be able to go like where I can reach the controls. But, uh, you know. So we're gonna take this off of here. And uh, my fingers are cold, so sorry if uh, things are taking a little long to do. But yeah, like, uh, Like advertised, it has your conventional style plug, and uh, it's nice that they coated it for you so it doesn't get messed up in the process of moving it. But the wire, I tell you what, the cord on this thing is actually pretty long. Yeah. This is a pretty long cord. It's got to be what? Yeah, let me grab a tape measure and see how long this cord is. <laughs> I can probably read somewhere how long this cord is, but we're just going to do it this way. Actually, no, this cord is six feet. Six feet long cord. So, yeah. You got six feet of cord, which ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. Um, then you have this. So, you know, since I have this and I have you here, and this video has not been long at all, and you guys don't want to hear me jib-jabbing the jaws. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and uh, give this thing a little test. A little test, huh? So we're going to grab some of our brand-new light-duty 
chord here. And we're gonna and we're gonna plug this in here. And uh Well, you know what? Right away, just want to say something about this chord here. Right away. This chord has the most positive connection I've ever seen in any other chord. I mean, I've been using a lot of old extension chords, but this thing, this thing really, really holds. Look at that. It's hard to pull it apart. This chord's awesome. So it, I mean, it's really in there. So you're not going to just knock this thing loose like you would do with anything else. Like you really have to tug on this thing to get it to come out. So cool. I like this already. Uh, you know, I spent a little bit more than what I would normally spend on some extension cord, but it's, you know, it's almost, it's, it's, I feel like it's worth it. So good. So, uh, right, right away. What we have here is, uh, got some lights on. I probably should, uh, read some instructions about this thing, but yeah, who knows, who cares? So, so we have temperature up, temperature down, fan, I'm guessing that's the fan speed or the timer. Oh, that might be a clock, it looks like a timer. And then here's the, uh, the power itself. So we're gonna switch it on, see what it does. All right, it's already preset to 75 degrees. You can go up with the, oh, ooh. it goes, That's off, 65. Okay, so it goes in a five degree increments starting at 65. And that's off. So you got 65, 70, 75, 80, and then high, which is, I'm guessing about 85 to 90. And then this is the timer, 30 minutes. Um, I don't know, intermediate heat? Oh, those are hours, okay. <laughs> I'm a dum-dum. So it goes starting at 30 minutes to one hour, two hours, three hours, four, all the way up to off again. So we're just gonna set it at 30 minutes for right now and see what it does. Um, we're gonna blast this thing. We're gonna set it at high. And yeah, let's see. Uh, it, it, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it has any variable um, fan speeds or anything. It just has the heat setting. Now as it's on, it is blowing out heat from here. Now this is considered all the way cranked up and it would be nice. Wait a minute, it looks like on the fan, is this the output here? Max output is 5100 BTUs. Okay, so this looks like well, 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 okay. All right, something going on here. I don't know. There's there's little tabs here. It's got these little tabs here. Uh, it's there for a reason. It's not on the other side. So I'm not sure why that's there. But it's there. Oh, wait. Oh, there you go. Okay, so it's just an adjustment for here. Okay, you just got to give it a little help. Okay. All right, so that's all the way up in there. So this thing is pretty multi-directional. And uh, it does have a small wood expected to be like one of the propane ones. But, you know, it's not bad. Like where I'm standing right now, it's actually, it's really getting warmer where I'm standing. Um, it seems to be pushing out the heat pretty far back. So it looks like I might just combine this video into me setting this whole thing up as well. Because uh, I really want to set this in uh, some spots that I'm normally working. And uh, see how long it, see if it actually heats up the space. Now on the box, on the box it says it's supplemental heat up to 1,000 square feet. I'm pretty sure it takes a while to get there because it's not like pumping the heat out, but it's, uh, you know, the core gets really hot. 
it's just you know the way it's cycling the heat out is kind of it's kind of slow going. So I would imagine that it would heat up a a, a, a good amount of space. I wouldn't give it a thousand. I tell you that I'd give it like maybe five or six hundred, which is the reason why I bought two because I'm pretty sure I'm like up to like eight nine hundred square feet of space in here. But um, I think two of these would do exactly what I needed to do. I'm thinking maybe set one over here in this corner and one over here in this corner and have it blow directly onto into the workshop rather than from the back of the workshop you know out so I'm thinking of doing it that way but yeah it's actually blowing out a decent amount of heat um, my shop is not really uh, uh, um, is not uh, you know really really uh, um, insulated like that so you know I can only hope for so much so yeah, but um, as I walk by it in, uh, in the area that I'm actually in, it's pumping out some pretty good heat. And uh, I'm, I'm, you know what, I think this could work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, opening the other one. And I'm going to place these in uh, two other spots in, in the shop. And we're going to see what we get. I'm going to set up the thermometer uh, probably right on the uh, hood of the car or on the, on the, roof, of the, on the roof of the car. I'm going to leave for about 30 minutes, and then I'm going to see how it works. So you guys get a bonus today. So you guys got a little bit of a tool haul, and you guys are getting a little bit of the experimental Mr. Heater, electric portable space heater. And we're going to see how this thing works out. So I'm going to hook these up. I'm going to try to find a spot to put them, and I'll be back with you later. Well, guys, while I was kind of thinking about it, I figured why not open this uh bolt tight pull puller setup too. Why not? Uh, this will be some a uh, little bit more unboxing for you guys. So I'm just gonna see what comes in this thing. And uh, I'm gonna cut this off here without trying to cut myself to pieces. So we're gonna see what's in this thing. So I just kinda wanna check the quality of the uh, type of bolts that they're using. You know, it's Harbor Freight, so it could go either way with this thing. But, you know, hey, I bought this so uh, you wouldn't have to, huh? All right, so it uh, comes in a nice uh, nice carrying case here. Looks sturdy enough. But, wow, that's actually a lot of bolts. <laughs> that is a lot of good stuff in here. So, uh -oh. so. These bolts, this, this, these bolts, eh, they're okay, I guess. I mean, what do you expect for a couple of bucks? But, um, I mean, you know, it seems like it'll get the job done. We got some washers here. Um, you got some, uh, a few little attachments to help you along here. I figured these bolts like these would be the real tough ones but they they almost feel like the regular these are these feel pretty lightweight I mean I don't know how heavy duty they may have to be I mean I've used pullers on my Jeep and stuff before but um yeah I mean you get a good really good assortment of uh, of bolts to help you pull and uh, the large bolt itself, large bolt itself seems to be pretty heavy duty, I guess. Um, seem to be all right. Got to keep those lubed. But um, yeah, that's what comes in the case. So just to show you guys what's in there, this is what you get. So uh, there, I mean, there's a large assortment. I love that. And um, the box seems to be pretty well made. And uh, Everything stays in its place relatively well. So, um, yeah. So that's what you get. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this video here. Uh, you guys have seen, you know, uh, my, my, my uh, yeah, pretty small supply haul, some tools. And um, I'm going to do this uh, Mr. Mr. Heater thing. And, uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys in a bit. What's up everybody, now that I'm back uh, uh, in the shop now, um, I had a lot of stuff that I had to do, 
Sorry, it's like almost the end of the day now. But I did get some stuff accomplished. You can see the Mr. Heater setup that I have here. What I did was I just ended up adding a little shelf right here where that one points one way. And then on the other side of the shop, I have it pointing the other direction. Now the reason why I put these on on, a, uh, on, on shelves is because it makes them a little bit more mobile. Like wherever I'm working, I can kind of point the heat wherever I want to go. So they work okay. My my, my my general assumption on these, you know, for a personal heater, they're not bad. For the prices they are, I think you can find better. Um, they're not bad. I mean, do I, do I feel like I wasted my money? Well, yes or no. But, I mean, they put out pretty good heat. Um, I'm pretty sure if I let it sit, let these things sit on for about an hour or so, it would heat up whatever area that I would be working in and I wouldn't I would at least not be freezing my fingers off um, as far as the old uh, thermometer here well I mean since I've had the doors closed which is about you know 10 15 minutes it's gone up like one degree maybe it's because it's just me walking around I don't know well but I also have this though I have this uh, oscillating heater that I got from a pawn shop a while back, but it soaks up too much power. When I turn this on along with the other two, it uh, <clears throat> it tripped the it tripped the breaker. So yeah, so basically I'm only going to be using you know two heaters at a time, uh, if that. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it see if it'll I'm going to see if it'll heat up a little bit in here, at least in the general areas that I like to work in. Um, you know, at the uh, desk here, at the, uh, you know, the, <laughs> the mobile workbench, and, uh, you know, maybe around here where I'm at the car, like if I'm sitting at the car here or working under the hood here, I can definitely point this in that direction, and I can catch some heat and uh, be, yeah, at the, at, the, at, the, at the very least, you know, slightly comfortable. Uh, you know, or at least more comfortable than uh, original. But I can actually feel the heat out to about, oh, I don't know. It stops feeling warm at about six feet away. But um, the other big problem I'm having is up here, um, the shop isn't really very well insulated. And as we all know, heat rises. And with that, you know, there's only so much you can do in a large shop like this on, uh, you know, with two small budget heaters. So, you know, I'm going to let these things do its, do, its, do its thing for a little while. I'm going to leave the shop, and uh, I'll come back in about, you know, 20, 30 minutes and see if it's made any difference between what's outside and what's in here. And, uh, yeah, that, that we can keep going. Oh, uh, the Z. Um, I'm going to move this thing out of here. So, but I got to move that first, and I got to move a few little things out of my way. So, yeah, that's what's going to happen. So, uh, see you in a bit.